Hi everybody, my name is Rachel Frank, also known as Tiny Geek Crafter from Cattail Knits, and today I'm going to show you how to knit an I-cord. Uh, to knit I-cord, you're going to need um, two DPNs. You cannot do this method with any other type of needle. So grab your DPN and whatever coordinating size yarn that you need to do your I-cord. You're going to do a uh, long tail cast on to cast on the number of stitches that you need for your I-cord. So uh, for today I'm just going to be doing four stitches. And I've already cast it on and so I'm right at the end of the needle where I would be if I was going to add more stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my yarn to the left, or I'm sorry, to the right side of the needle and you're going to have your tail and your working yarn now on the left side um, and this might look a little bit unusual because normally we're working with our working yarn coming here on the right side but this is how you have to do it for an I-cord so you want to make sure you have your um, working yarn in your hand that you like to throw or however you knit and grab your other DPN we're going to insert it into our first stitch just like we would knit anything else and we're going to bring our working yarn all the way from the back stitch all the way up here and knit and we'll knit the rest of our stitches just like normal now. That tail out of the way. And we have one more. Okay. So now what we do is again slide these stitches all the way down to the right end of the needle and go ahead and we'll knit again and you'll see that again our yarn is coming out from our last stitch. We're going to wrap it over and we're going to knit just like normal. Okay, now we have another row completed. Do the same thing. You'll slide this all the way down to the right side and repeat. So take your working yarn from over here and when you do this you kind of want to pull it a little snug. You don't want to do super crazy tight like this where it's really pulling everything but you also don't want it to be like all loose with this loose loop hanging back here. Just kind of like this so you can see I'm pulling it just taut but not super tight like that and not super loose where I'm going to have this wiggly loop in the back. Just a nice even pressure so it's just kind of going flat and knit. Okay and then as you continue doing this up you'll notice that your back of your yarn is closing up. Um, as you go up higher and higher it will start closing up the lower layers and that's why you want to put that slight bit of force on there because you want this to close up and give you this round cord. If you um, knit this too loose instead of having it close up you'd have these loops hanging in the back and that's not what you want. So that's why you want just kind of that nice just a little bit of tug there when you go ahead and knit your next row. And that's how you knit an I cord. <laughs> 